Okay, so I've been studying on this refrigerator door to try to figure out how to get it apart, and I pulled the rubber back, and there's a screw. There's a few screws. So, looks like the best thing to do with that is to peel the rubber back, go all the way around, and take those screws out. Hopefully, this will lift off, and if there's... I know this thing's been full of water before, because one time I had a drain it before I could pick this thing up but maybe if I can pull this apart if there's a bunch of that fiber in there I can pull it out because if it's been wet it's probably mighty heavy also so yeah let's find a comfy spot and the screwdriver and we'll just give it a go it's pretty fun stuff it's pretty fun stuff Taking something apart is fun sometimes. That insulation is making me all itchy. Might need to, might have to take a break, go inside and take a shower. Come back to this. I think I will because it's so uncomfortable. I got that stuff on the back of my neck. It's just making me feel miserable. I'm going to do that. I used to have a job, well, I only had this job for a little while, but there was a trucking company down in Toccoa, Georgia, probably still there, it was a good company, good people that ran it, nice job, as far as trucking jobs go, couldn't ask for much more, except for one thing, they hauled insulation, and this was back in the day when insulation was real, what I mean by that is this insulation that came out of this refrigerator is old insulation, and this old insulation was made out of glass literally and glass fibers and it was itchy and uncomfortable and the only bad thing about this job was they did not pay for you to pay somebody else to unload their trucks they did expect you to unload it yourself and the, and the stuff wasn't heavy or problematic in any way except that it was insulation and that insulation would get in your clothes in your hair, in your nose, in your lungs, you get back in the truck, you get all in the sleeper cab, get all inside the truck, and you walk around itching from unloading that insulation all the time. And I just, I just couldn't handle it. I, uh, I gave up working for them, really, over that, over that, because it bothered me. It didn't bother me as bad as it bothered my co-driver. I had a co-driver who couldn't stand it. I could, I could kind of, I could kind of, you know, I was tough, I was young, and I could kind of be okay, but my co-driver just absolutely couldn't handle it. But anyway, that's what that reminded me of. And of course, back then, if you're out driving a truck, you can't, you can't, you can't just run and grab a shower just anywhere, you know, because you're on the road. You get one at a truck stop, but you got to find a truck stop. And of course, Taking time off to take a shower every time you drop a load somewhere ain't a very productive way to be a truck driver, unfortunately. So, anyway, that's what that brought to mind. I'm glad that's done. I went to the house, took a shower, put on a clean shirt. Oh, I feel much better. Uh, what I'm doing now is just, like we mentioned before, I'm, a lot of screws in this, and I'm just going to take them out one at a time. And it will take me a while, but I might get down on a piece of cardboard because I can get closer to it rather than sitting on the stool. I think this is going to make a nice little trailer. I'm kind of thinking about in my mind how to fashion it together. I think it's going to, I think it's going to work out real nice. I think Luke's going to be really happy with it. We had talked about putting those old Studebaker fenders on it and had propped up a set on here and they look really good and uh, I got those those slotted mag wheels that I had out the other day on the front of the rat rod the ones that uh, were originally on Mike's car and they look good on here and the other thing that look good on here is those those other green spoke wire wheels that I had on the back of the rat rod I could I could adapt I could adapt 
whatever I put on here so that I could use those. And that would be a really cool look too. For a rat run trailer. I might go I might go down the side here. Come back to those corners because there's some screws up in those corners. It's hard to peel that back, but maybe if I had them off. In fact, it may be if I had them off down both sides and across the bottom I could I believe this might be a piece of plastic. I might be able to peel it, pick it up and pull the insulation out and put it back down. That would be that would be good. If I could do that. Ooh, the joy. So what was we talking about? I can't remember now, probably insulation or trailer, trailer wheels, something like that. Luke's coming over this weekend and he said he wanted to drive the little green Crosley. The little Kermit is what they called it. I don't know. I don't know what uh, Rusty's going to call it. Because it's his and he gets to decide. But Luke wants to drive a straight shift car. And I asked him if he could work the pedals and he said he could. And if he drove more, he, he'd get better at it. So. Uh, I asked Rusty, and he said it's okay for Luke to drive the uh, Green Crosley out in the quarry there. So that's one of the things we're going to put on the list to do while he's here. Is to let him go out and drive that Crosley. In fact, what I might do since he's here is I'm getting my Crosley out, and put him in one, put me in the other, and let's drive around the quarry like like we did with Dead Eye Dan back when he was alive. You know, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Way back when. We could do something like that. If we wanted to. Now, another thing I might do is have him drive that Chrysler because he talked one time about buying that Chrysler and I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind him having it. Uh, it'd be nice to have him have it, you know. Not that I really plan to sell it, but on the other hand if Luke wanted it it'd be you know, sometimes there's things I'd sell a lot quicker if somebody that I like and knew one of them than I would otherwise, you know what I mean. I'm sure y'all do, because y'all all feel that way too, I bet, about your stuff. A lot of times you'd like for your somebody you know to have your good stuff, rather than a stranger. All right, I'll, talk, I'll stop talking now so I can focus on my work here. touching it. So I don't have to go take a shower again. Okay then. That is going to make everything a lot lighter for our project. Now the other thing I could go ahead and do and I'll, uh, I'll run that fiberglass back there and throw it away. It would be to go ahead and dig this axle out that we were looking at over here. Uh, and while I'm over here, these things right here are fenders. Used to be on my car hauling trailer. I hadn't used that thing in years. But I was always thinking one of these days I'd put them back on there. I took them off when I expanded the size of that bed. And if I'm going to be digging out them axles, I'm going to be moving these. I suppose a pretty good place to put them would be right back on that trailer. So that might become another project that I'll work on this week. Well, I'm, well, I don't want to go too much further on this fridge. But if I get that axle out, I can start to kind of strategize 
how that's gonna fit. And I may cut this thing apart. I actually built that whole car bodies around and I don't think I'm gonna be hauling any more of them around, so. And this refrigerator could be set over to the side. I've got an idea in mind about how I'm gonna put this together and I think it's gonna be cool. But I don't wanna get ahead of myself. So we're not gonna go too much further with that. Okay? Okay.